What's going on guys? So we are out here at the KOA in San Antonio, Texas, and we were lucky enough to be here when Ford had brought down their 2021 F-150 trucks. This is the all new F-150. This is a very cool truck. I don't think it is a complete departure from the current F-150, but it's absolutely an evolution of the F-150. They've done a lot of really interesting things to this truck. Many of the things are entirely new to the F-150 lineup. Some of them carried over from the Super Duty, but some of them are just features that the Super Duty could even benefit from. So before we get the Ford Expert over here, I'm gonna take a look around the outside and just kind of point out some of the things I noticed. First of all, the headlights and the front grille are very much different than the previous model, but again, more of an evolution. It has this interesting four lamp design with an LED accent trim. I see that it has front parking sensors. This truck also has rear parking sensors and 360 degrees worth of camera plus some additional cameras. I can also see that they've made some interesting changes to the rear suspension. So in previous models, I believe you had three leaf springs. In this one, you have two leaf springs. You have this massive lower leaf spring, which is really for load management. And then you have a thinner top leaf spring, which is gonna be for comfort while you're driving unloaded. That is really cool. Also, they've put a lot of technology into the tailgate, which I'll let them explain a little bit more about, but it's essentially a workstation for contractors or for anybody who needs to do work, along with C-clamp spots right here if you're gonna be clamping construction lumber or anything like that down. This has a panoramic sunroof on top as well, which I don't think was offered on the XLT package in the past, but I could be wrong. So stepping inside of the truck, you can see that the interior from this perspective is relatively similar. Moving this way, the dash is relatively similar in the fact that they use the seven inch screen, maybe even an eight inch screen back there, which kind of projects all your information towards the center of the gauges. But this is completely new, 12 inch infotainment center. That is absolutely massive. Everyone's moving to these larger screens I don't know what the benefit overall is gonna be. I mean, you do have to navigate quite a bit of information, but it's definitely pretty looking. It definitely shows the direction that technology is going in these trucks. But I like the fact that they still retain most of your knobs and controls, which are manual for air conditioning. I think that is absolutely fantastic. So all of your major functions are gonna be controlled with buttons and knobs still. And then you have all of your selectable functions, radio stuff, navigation, cameras, and all of that, which are selectable through the touch screen. This is really cool. This is kind of a workstation area as well, and this slides forward and back, and it also tilts in, which I think if you are a contractor, if you're using this truck for work, this is absolutely fantastic. Very cool. One thing that looks super sharp about the front end of this truck, and it is a departure from the previous model, is how the fog lights on these trucks are being better incorporated into the bumper. They absolutely look fantastic, especially with the LED accent light below that kind of follows that upper LED accent light all the way around into the bumper area. And again, this is an XLT truck. So even though this truck doesn't have the LED lighting package, it does have a very, very attractive front headlight package. And I think for most people, you probably couldn't really distinguish between this and a Platinum or a King Ranch in terms of the headlights themselves, but very, very nice looking truck. Now taking a look into the back of this truck, you can see that they've incorporated this flip up storage area. This is what has been offered in the Super Duty for a while, but it's really nice to see that they are incorporating this into the half ton line or the F-150 line. Over here, I believe these might be cup holders. Well, that is really cool. So you have two cup holders that flip down right there. That is new. But if you lower the seat here, you'll notice there's no armrest in this XLT package. So if you get a Lariat, a King Ranch, or a Platinum, or a Limited, you'll have that little flip-down armrest right there. Now hopping in the passenger seat of this 2021 Ford F-150 XLT, I had an opportunity to see this 12-inch SYNC 4 system in action. Now they did something a little different. They put the screen in a landscape configuration versus the portrait configuration that you might be used to in the RAM with the 12-inch screen. This is a very comprehensive system, and one thing I really like about it is it's not an incredibly busy screen. So if you look at the Uconnect system, you have to kind of get used to several icons 
icons all across the screen, similar to how you might view them on a smartphone. And one of the problems I see with that is trying to get between screens to the specific application you're looking for can be a bit cumbersome. But Ford's approach to this is entirely different. And instead of making it more of an app based system, they made it more of a drag and drop system, as well as allowed you to utilize multiple camera angles that you had available prior, but in a much larger screen. And you have far more options in where you want to view individual cameras, whether you want to zoom into a specific corner of the vehicle, whether you want to look in the actual bed of your truck, which is actually a new feature for the F-150. So you now have a view from your high center mount light area, which looks down into the bed, essentially a cargo camera. Plus, with the 12-inch screen, it's almost like looking at a high-definition TV when you're trying to look at various camera angles. And I really like the fact that they incorporate the 90-degree camera angle into both the front and the rear. It gives you a very wide perspective in terms of what's around the truck and what you might potentially be near hitting. Now what's really interesting is this specific F-150 with this XLT package is powered by a 3.5 liter EcoBoost which now produces 400 horsepower and 500 pound-feet of torque. You heard that right, a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 and it has a maximum tow rating of 14,000 pounds when properly configured. And something that a lot of F-150 future owners are going to appreciate is the fact that Ford now equips all configurations of engines in these F-150s with a 10-speed automatic transmission. Even the smallest V6 engine all the way to the largest now has a 10-speed automatic transmission. Now anytime you're looking at using a truck like this with a rating so high in terms of conventional towing, you're going to want to understand very clearly the types of trailers you should and should not tow with a truck like this. And we talk about this in a later video with an actual Ford representative to kind of give you a better example of what you should look for in terms of a trailer configuration for a truck with this type of towing capacity. Also, we're going to take a look at the other F-150s that were at this event that were powered by two distinctly different power plants. So guys, if you haven't had a chance, now is a great time. Take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon with some more F-150s.